three, two, one. Hello there, and as usual, I'm here for my Saint Gamers, and welcome to a little bit of Helion. Now, the whole point of this game is a space survival, and from what I can tell so far, it's a very hardcore type space survival. So, the basics of today's video, we're going to be trying to dock that module with this main module. That's our kind of like starting area. And I'm going to be trying to explain a bit of the game and just showing you some of the fun functions that I've discovered as I've been playing this for the last 20 minutes. Now, in the last 20 minutes, it was quite a steep learning curve. I learned a lot about the game and what I really like about it is how it's very hands-on. Like, you can grab things, you can dash them away you can read little bits of diagrams so that actual module out there is this one below an airlock module that we need to be able to pressurize and depressurize this place without venting everything so let's continue on through our little ship so you'll notice there's a slight feel of star citizen in this just how touchy feely everything is all the access points open up so you can see the air filters on standby pressure regul uh, regulations on standby so we really need to get them systems up and online and the best way of doing this is heading into this next little area where we've got ourselves a suit and a helmet, but we'll collect them from the next area. We've also got a little poster. You can interact with the poster and tear it apart, so maybe you can add your own posters there in the future. We've also got ourselves a little interaction window. Let's have a look what this does. Maybe it'll do nothing. Maybe it's just a poster that we can apply there in the future or something. But we'll open up this door to the next area. And as we head into here, we should be entering into zero gravity. So here we go. Oh, got a little bit too fast. So the thing with zero gravity that's really cool in this, you just float and drift and you feel like you do have quite a lack of control. It's hard to do. But if I press shift, I can grab onto something and I can hold it at that location. But let's reactivate gravity. So artificial gravity control is this button here. So we've activated that now. Our, lag, our legs should now work. We just appreciate some of the detailing and the modeling of this place. We've got two more cryopods in here. So if you wanted to come in with your friends and start building your space station, that is also an option here. We've got the cargo um, interaction panel. So from what I can tell, you need to resupply and keep your station going or just re replace parts that break over time as well as adding modules on. And that's really quite an important part of the game itself so we've got a little module box there we can add things to but let's actually just equip ourselves a suit without the suit you can't actually carry anything with you we'll equip a helmet as well apply that helmet on and we'll pop the visor back up so we save ourselves an oxygen but we need to get life support and power system back online so we've got solar panels to activate that we just click by using this and i think this is a really cool basic invent well sort of informational terminal so we know how to access things with these connecting lines and if we send a click in the middle we can access the capacitor that will allow us to storage our solar panels so the sun coverage in this case is only 42 percent so we might need to reorientate the ship to get a better power usage and the capacity is going to slowly fill up so we can actually use various systems now the next system we need to activate is life support get them filters and scrubbers back online air generator and air filter so they're on standby at the moment and they should be activating shortly the room count is two um and they'll go back online but what's really cool about these stations is all these parts can break or deteriorate over time so at the moment we've got that sensor uh, servo motor that's full health because it's green it's clearly indicated that it's good health as well because it's green if we open up this we can actually have a look at our filters i just really like how that rotated out and we can replace them obviously with new ones if they become damaged and you've got these little storage crates all over the place where you can just place the items as you collect them by venturing around other parts of the ship another really cool thing is these little vents as well that you have aboard each area as you go into these you go into a zero gravity area and you can actually bypass certain areas of the ship and just float around and there's a few grab handles in there as well that you can use to transport yourself throughout the ship but we'll get back out of there and we'll get ourselves on with the mission itself of docking this first module and what i really want you to do is just have a look at this game even though it's only in alpha stages, just have a feel of what it could become. So we'll activate our jetpack in here and we'll also put our visor down um, as we're going to begin the depressurization sort of process that we can't actually do yet because we've not got a proper airlock and that's what that module outside is. So we're going to have to do the old depressurization and not get sucked out. So to not get sucked out, we're going to hold shift, we're going to hit that 
That's done it. Open the door up. Okay, and all the pressure has been sucked out. Luckily, I managed to hold myself together. Now, with a little bit of a jetpack push, we're going to actually turn that off. And we're going to attempt just to jump across to that module by launching ourselves from this one. Oh, God, I've hit the door. Okay, right. So there's the module across there. We've also got like a semi-activated module. So as I'm drifting here through space quite slowly, we might be able to turn around, actually. Let's just use the jetpack. And there'll be a ship around somewhere else that we need to find. I don't see a ship at the moment. It might be being blocked by that particular area. But we need to find our little RCS module so we can remotely pilot this airlock to connect it. So we're over here. Let's grab onto the side using shift again. Turn the jetpack off now to save a bit of that jetpack fuel. We just need to keep grabbing onto the ship as we move around. And there's the module flashing. So what I would like really awesome about this again, you open up the little panel. And oh god, oh god, I've drifted a bit too far away. Let's see if we can grab onto it. So we've interacted with the panel and we need to target that door on the left there. So this should be quite an easy pilot. Uh, we're not drifting too much. Uh, so let's just begin uh, by holding shift to stabilize ourselves and we're just going to bring ourselves over ever so slightly so you see a little bit of a red bar pop up in the center and something that I learned from a lot of trial and error in this game is that if you mess up and overcorrect, then you're in like a world of hurt so at the moment in time we're just going to try not to overcorrect anything we're going to move everything slowly small movements translate in space to massive movement massive movements and if you mess that up, it is just absolute hell to try to recorrect it. Okay, one more. Okay, that looks like a straight up sort of pattern, even though we've got a little bit of drift to the right now. We're going to send this in with a bit more speed. This I might regret this. We'll just have to be careful. We're moving at minus 0 0.1 meters a second. 24 meters from the target. We've just got to line that up. Okay, it looks like we're all right. There's a derelict and there's an AC something he one oh god okay right we're going in a bit fast here so let's correct ourselves uh keep on moving at this rate and a tad down let's just level it off here okay a tad to the right we line it up with that hangar door perfectly because once we've got this module on it means we can have an a working airlock and we can dock the ship that should be around the area if that's possible or at least i'll be able to show you around that Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. We've been sucked in a bit. Right. We need to stabilize everything. So let's um, let's just make sure everything's all right. So we've hit shift and we'll exit out of this module and we'll close that off. And let's hope that we've actually stabilized. We'll activate our jetpack. And we'll just power off a little bit from this. And it looks like our docking port has been successfully docked with the actual station itself. Solar panels are opened up. Now, the next step is to dock the ship, but I believe the ship is the hardest one to dock. So, let's head over there and actually try to access this through the airlock. The reason that I believe this is hard to dock when I tried it in the past is I've received a lot of lag and ended up cutting out of the actual game itself. But for an alpha, you would kind of expect that sort of thing. So, let's just drift over, access that airlock that I believe is on the top. Actually, there's a flashing panel here on the side. Let's have a look at that. Let's try stabilizing myself. Oh, we need to go down. What's this? Solar solar panels. Okay, so that's just one of them components that you'd have to change on the outside. And we'll grab on. There we go. Now we've grabbed on, we can deactivate a jetpack and we'll just crawl ourselves along. So that flashing module on the side is solar panel, solar panel access. Let's see if we can grab ourselves up onto the airlock. Now, the thing with these airlocks is they take a little bit of time to get in because you've got to actually depressurize them like the one before and there's the depressurized angle just look at the detail on that door oh god we've gone too far access the jetpack jet ourselves back into position and access that to interact okay so we need to depressurize and this is quite a long tedious process but you can see the bar is slowly dropping of that internal sort of pressure and then we can open the outer door we can interact back we can open the outer door now and we can get ourselves inside turn ourselves our light on rotate us around quickly and reactivate the pressurization process bring ourselves down seal the outer door that's the important bit okay and then repressurize and what's really cool about this you can see how it's pumping 
the oxygen back into this area and pressurizing this cabin. And once the pressure gets actually high enough up, it means we'll actually have oxygen in this area. And you can see that panel's displaying that on the side there. Just look at that fog, all that sort of misty smoke. Sounds coming back to us now. Okay, it's still pumping oxygen in or whatnot. Pressure's going up still. Once that's full, we'll take a helmet off and we'll enter into the cabin. Okay, nine and full. Activate that. Inner door. Open that up. And we've got the sounds. We can also take our helmet up, save some of that oxygen. Now we've just got to be careful here. We don't want to fall down this ladder, but we'll see if we can orientate ourselves correctly so we don't fall. We just land on our feet. Oh, God, I fall in even harder. <laughs> right, we've got ourselves back up. And we can seal that outer door on the airlock. Okay, there we go. Door sealed up. So we're now aboard this cool little ship. Now, I don't know what other ships they have planned in the future, but I'm guessing they have a lot more in this. So at the back, we've got our cause reactor, our power supply. That will actually just start our ship up. We'll turn the fusion reactor on the solar panel, and we'll also turn the capacitor on. We've got two solar panels, I believe. So let's turn them both online. So we get maximum sort of power supply. And you can see we've got more of these modules. Obviously, the three states, green being good, orange being all right and red being not very su sufficient at all. So there we go. Let's actually have a look at that field containment unit we've actually picked up. Do we need that on us? Um, field containment unit affects power output and power generators. Let's just plug that back in, just in case we need it. <laughs> and we'll head down. We'll actually go down to the elevator control in the cargo bay below us. Oh, listen to that just sounds good it's so important to get sounds right in these sort of games so we're actually in our cargo bay now and in our cargo bay we've actually got our drills so you can imagine doing some awesome mining we've got these all sort of pods these um alt, alt core refining resource canister and we've got a raw resource canister so i guess you can mine different asteroids and whatnot for supplies more of these interactive panels whatnot to store devices you've also got a refueling pump and more information so what else is on standby air filters on standby pressure regulators offline um, so if we start to take any damage to our health, then we probably need to activate um, our life support. More crates at the back for the power supply. Let's have a look if actually anything's in these. No, nothing's in these. So this is just as we collect items, we're going to have to add to them. And we've got the rear hangar door here as well. So that's just a very nice little process. Have we got anything on these racks? Because I remember there was something on the racks here last time. Oh, yeah, we go. Now these, I believe, are oxygen canisters, if I can grab one. There we go. And you can just add it to your inventory. Like, let's have a look. Resort. No, it's a resource canister with oxygen in. All right, we'll take, we'll take that. And we'll take the elevator back up. Add that back into our um, storage over here, if we can. Is it? Can it be added to that one? Or does it have to be added to this one? Let's just check. You can add it to one of these. Or we can just throw it on the ground. We'll just, we'll just, we'll store it on some, we'll store it somewhere. We've got enough shelves and bits and bobs. Um, can we add it to that bit? No, I think that's only for suits. Maybe we can add it to this rack here. No, this is just for weapons. So these pistols it looks like you can get. And there's also an assault rifle here. Let's grab that. Can this thing actually fire? No, it doesn't look like it can at the moment in time. But we've got some more space suits. And let's actually get into the piloting sort of seat of this. Maybe I need to put my gun on my back. That could be a good idea. Yes, you do. So we've got nav, dock, and headlights. So... Let's actually power this thing up. We're going to hit the docking button. Okay, docking's engaged, and we're going to hit the R. So we need to work out which we want when you actually... We want to dock with the airlock dock. Or can we grapple it? Grappling? No, airlock dock. So we need to work out how to align this first uh, with the module itself. So we need to select targeted modules, and we need to aim that on... I think it's this one, is it? It could be. I bloody hope so. Distance is 209 meters. So we're getting a little bit closer to the module now. It's just a matter of stabilizing and adjusting. Stabilizing and adjusting. And we will get there and we can dock this ship. And this will be the first stage of this station bit complete. Then we can start refitting supplies from the station onto the ship itself. Depending um, if we want to go right okay that's good oh god stabilize 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 okay we've got a little bit of left movement now stabilize again 
and let's just bring it ever so slightly forward and we're getting towards that docking ring once again well didn't have the issue is if we hit this too hard we're going to send it out of orbit and we're going to burn up into some sort of sun or something oh, i'm not too sure what will actually happen if we send it out of orbit okay so we've got a little bit of up let's just play with that ever so slightly okay we've got a little bit too much left and we've got a little bit too much forward. So let's continue guiding this in here. Bring it a little bit over to the right and a little bit down. I'm just coming in for that really gentle touch. A little bit too aggressive at the moment still. Okay, we're inches off now. Just need to give it that little bit of thrust and keep it line aligned up. Little movements here are gonna be what kills us if we mess this up. So keep it stable. Keep it in. Okay, we've got we're a bit off to the left. Moving it to the right, trying to correct it. Moving it down a little bit. Okay, we've got a connection. Perfect. Alright, that's the first time I've done that successfully. Let's stabilize everything. Okay, hopefully everything's stabilized. Let's go off that. Okay, everything should have been stabilized and we can disengage from our seat. Woo! That was an absolute ball ache of control. Right, okay, let's pop out of that seat. And we're going to head ourselves back to the airlock. Okay, let's pop this airlock up. So we shouldn't really need to mess with this now because it should be depressurized. Let's just open inner. And let's put a visor down just in case we messed anything up. Access the ladders. Okay, we're into this airlock now. We'll activate the jetpack. Um, and what's the pressure like outside? Let's just um, close this inner door. Let's open the outer door. Okay, so we've got a successful seal here by the look of it. And let's just drift into this area. Uh, close that door up behind us, obviously, for safety. In case we have a depressurization issue. And let's pop this door open. This is, this is, I feel like we've actually achieved something to be fair. Okay, so now we're in the docking area. We're in that dock area that we actually opened up before. So we've got um, some empty cylinders by the look of it. Nothing too useful. We've got anything in this storage device. Nothing in the storage device either. Let's check these panels. Nothing else in there. So, so far we've docked successfully. And we've managed to make ourselves, oh, can we manually override this just yet? Yes. So that is the whole station part connected up at the moment. So bringing this video to a conclusion, we've got ourselves our ship docked outside. And what I really want to know from you guys is what you think of this so far. Is this a competitor for sort of space survival games in the future, even though it's in such early stages? Or do you reckon larger games like Star Citizen would sweep something like this to the side? Anyway, it looks very promising. I can't wait to see what they're going to do next with it.